Hey guys, welcome to the new video. In this video, I will explain how to configure Steam sockets for online subsystem Steam. Here we go. But before I start, I want to say that my guide is intended for listening servers and the Steam Online subsystem. So if you haven't set up the Steam Online subsystem yet, you can watch my video or download the project from my GitHub, the link to which will be in the description. Now let's go. So Steam Sockets is a networking plugin that takes advantage of Steam's new networking protocol layer. It provides enhanced security and reliability using the Steam communication network with built-in DDoS protection, end-to-end -end encryption, and NH traversal. In addition, Steam Sockets builds can support cross-platform play between Windows, Mac, Linux, but not with other devices. Steam Sockets also provides ping calculations for listening servers. I think a lot of people had a problem with ping and not being able to calculate it correctly until users were already connected to the server. I mean, ping 9999, right? Also, I want to say that Steam Sockets uses its own network driver instead of Unreal Engine's network driver. This means that only builds with Steam Sockets can only connect to Steam Sockets builds. I also want to say one last thing. Any builds designed for devices outside of Windows, Mac, and Linux disable Steam Sockets before packaging and use the standard UE4 network protocol by default. If you are targeting a platform outside of Steam on any of these operating systems, such as an Oculus Store on Windows, the build will still use the Steam network driver, which will not be properly configured for that platform. You will need to take this into account by customizing your project accordingly for builds distributed on different PC-based platforms. So now let's get going. But before we start configuring Steam sockets, let's finish configuring Steam's online subsystem for the listening servers. So all we need to do is enable a couple of values to be true. I'll leave the link to the Steam documentation in the description. But don't forget, if you're using a different version of the engine, select it on the left. It's very important and as the code may be different. Let's go. It's also very important to add the Unreal Engine Steam module. This is important to make sure that the Steam module is built in with your game. Now, to be sure, I will build the project using Visual Studio. You can now proceed to set up Steam Sockets. So first we need to enable the Steam Sockets plugin. This can be done by writing it in the search or go down to networking and enable it there and then restart the engine. Now after the restart, we must make sure that the Steam Sockets plugin is enabled and we can then close the engine to configure the config for Steam Sockets. Now we need to go to the documentation for Steam Sockets. The link to it will be in the description also remember to select your version of the engine on the left if you are using a different version and we need to copy and paste this. However, if you have other platforms other than Windows, then you need to put this in their configuration. And you're done. And at this point, I could finish and start saying goodbye to you. But unfortunately, Steam Sockets has a problem that still exists since November 2022. And probably it has not been solved until now. However, if you watch this video later and there are no connection problems, then you do not need to do the following steps. However, as of July 19th, the problem still exists. And this is the solution I found on the forum. The solution to this problem will be located in the Steam settings file in my project on GitHub, a link to which you can find in the description and also in the description of this video. So we need to insert this last one into our config so that there are no problems. Also, if you want, this file will contain the usual configuration of my Steam project without Steam sockets. However, my project will now exist with Steam sockets. So if you decide to remove Steam sockets, then you will need to disable the plugin and insert the normal configuration that is under labeled default. 
Now this step is optional and you can skip it. I will disable other online subsystems to ensure that my project is configured to only work with the Steam online subsystem. However, this is an optional step. Now let's move on to the packaging of the game. If you don't know how to package Steam, watch the video that I have on my channel. I also want to say that the build of the game with Steam sockets will also be located in my repository on GitHub in the build versions folder. It will be completely ready for testing Steam sockets. Now let's move on to testing. I tested this with my friend and now you will see how it works and how the ping is shown. His ping was 56 and everything works great. Thank you for watching this video until the end. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel while you don't miss any new videos. See you in the next one.